to the Parsha Perspective. Each week, we will delve deep in a weekly Torah portion to find a practical and insightful way to enhance your daily life. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Shalom Yamini. Each week, we will look into the weekly Torah portion to find inspiration that will complement your daily life and intensify your connection to God. This week's Parsha Perspective is being dedicated in honor of the yard site of the father of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rebbe Levi Yitzchak Schneerson. May his soul be uplifted and his memory a blessing. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Ekev. Our Parsha continues Moshe's final address to the Jewish nation. He tells them, that if they follow in the path of the Torah and keep the mitzvahs diligently, they will be blessed above all peoples. He reminds them that they themselves did not inherit the land of Israel due to their own merits or righteousness, but rather because of the promise that Hashem made to our forefathers, Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, that their children will inherit the land. He recounts how he broke the luchas on his way down from Mount Sinai when he saw them sinning with the golden calf. He also tells them the second paragraph of the Shema, where we are told the physical rewards that we will receive for observing the Torah, or the consequences if we don't, heaven forbid. However, a question comes to mind. Multiple times in this week's Parsha, we are told of the many rewards that we will receive for keeping the mitzvahs. However, it says in Pirkei Elvis that we must serve Hashem for the sole purpose of connecting with Him. So why does the Torah reiterate the rewards if they are not the real reason that we serve God. Furthermore, the reward itself might change your intention from doing the mitzvah just for the sake of God to the potential benefit that you can receive. So why does Moshe make the rewards a focal point of his last address to the Jewish nation? The Alter Rebbe in chapter 39 of Tanya gives a simple explanation. He explains that just like a child is rewarded for doing the most basic things till they learn how to do them on their own, we too are rewarded to help jumpstart our observances at the rudimentary level. He quotes the Gemara in Psachim, that a person can study Torah and do the mitzvahs even if they are done for personal gain. Because the more you perform the mitzvahs, the deeper your understanding of spirituality will be, and the more profound your relationship with Hashem will become. And therefore, your motives for serving God will change from personal benefit to the sake of Hashem alone. However, on a much deeper level, the Alter Rebbe explains that we are not given the rewards because we do the mitzvahs, but rather as a result of us doing the mitzvahs. Meaning that the rewards of health, success, happiness, and children are given to enable us to serve God further. But the real reward will be given to us in the world to come. As it says in Pirkei Oves, that schar mitzvah mitzvah, that the reward for performing a mitzvah is another mitzvah. Because each mitzvah that we do not only leads us closer to God, but also gives us excellent opportunities to perform others as well. For example, when we go to synagogue to pray, we get an excellent opportunity to study Torah. When we eat kosher, we have the chance to make a blessing before and after, each one a mitzvah in their own right. Moshe is telling the Jewish people that it is perfectly understandable to start off doing the mitzvahs for the sake of reward. However, once you achieve a deeper understanding of the mitzvahs, you should perform them for God alone. In our daily life, we must understand that every objective we finish and every goal that we accomplish must be a stepping stone to further success. You must not view your achievements as a means to an end, but rather as an instrument that you use to tackle greater ambitions, which will bring you closer to reaching your dreams and accomplishing your true potentials. There's an amazing quote that I once heard. Smart people use today's victories as a rehearsal for tomorrow's adventures. Have a great weekend and good Shabbos. Thank you for tuning in to The Parsha Perspective. Check out our website, theparshaperspective.com. Send thoughts and comments to theparshaperspective at gmail.com. Till next time, thanks for listening.